Unlike the frightful opening, this is actually a really adorable scarecrow Halloween costume makeup and hair. So starting with the makeup, you want to start with a fresh face and just push your hair into a ponytail so it's out of the way. So we're going to start with foundation and you want to choose a foundation that's really orangey and like yellowy toned. I found mine at the dollar store and it was really cheap just for this tutorial because I wouldn't actually wear this out because it's pretty like oddly toned compared to my skin tone. But yeah, this is because you want to give the idea that your face is made out of straw, so you want to kind of find something that's a similar colour to straw. And make sure you put it on your eyebrows and your eyes as well, and blend it down your neck. One of the perks of being a scarecrow is that you don't have any acne, so you want to cover up any acne discoloration and under eye circles that you may have, just because scarecrows always have flawless skin because they don't have anything under their skin to break them out. Now I'm just setting the foundation and concealer with a powder. I recommend using a translucent powder because it doesn't alter the yellow base you've created with the foundation and using this light dabbing motion means that it won't discolor your face. Now you want to do your eyebrows just as you do them every day, just making the eyebrow shape a little bit thinner because scarecrows usually have drawn on eyebrows but this makes the work still wearable without doing like a single line which could look a bit weird. I am now just taking a liquid eyeliner and I'm just lining my upper lash line just so I can define my eyes a little bit more. I am then just taking this black eyeshadow and I'm softly dusting this underneath my eyes to start with the blackness which will soon cover my whole under eye area. Then I'm softly putting this on my lid and into my crease really lightly for this just makes my actual like eyeball pop a little bit more and makes my eyes look more like they've kind of sunken in. This is my favourite part of the tutorial. So pretty much what you're doing is you're creating the effect of having lashes on your bottom eyes for this just kind of makes you look kind of doll-like and fake and not like a normal person. So it kind of brings that whole scarecrow thing to life. So all you're doing is just using some gel eyeliner and a brush and just drawing a couple of lines underneath your eyes, all different shapes and sizes. And now I'm just creating a kind of pushed over square diamond on my forehead and I'm just filling that in and then adding a couple of patch lines on it so it looks like a sewn on patch. I am now elongating my mouth into a big smile by just following the line from the corner of my mouth upwards. For this just gives the effect that my mouth is sewn on and it's like stitched up and then to kind of add to this I'm doing three stitch marks along each side of my mouth and this just gives more of like the rag kind of doll like scarecrow effect. I then just drew another little diamond patch on my nose and mine was a little bit off center but it was okay and I'm just using that same gel liner and brush again. And yeah, so just draw one of those. And now it's time to fill in the patch. So I'm using this pink face paint and a brush. And this is just a regular like eyeshadow brush. And I'm just putting this into the patch. It's okay if you go over the black lines because we can go back over them afterwards. I'm also putting this on my lips because I think it's a really nice color and it really pops out. And it just kind of brings both the pinks in together. And I really, really like how it came out on my lips. Although it did kind of dry out my lips a little bit, so I recommend wearing lip balm underneath this. I'm then taking a blue eyeshadow and I'm just filling in this patch on my nose. The cheeks for this look are really, really easy. All you're doing is taking a hot pink blush and you're just drawing a little circle on the apples of your cheeks which you can easily find by smiling and you just want to fill that in. I then decided to darken up the under eyes by taking a liquid eyeliner and just going over the eyeliner I did with a gel liner. This just kind of made it more black 
if that makes sense and it just kind of made it not look chalky like sometimes gel liner kind of appears to be and then here I'm taking that blue eyeshadow I used on my nose and I'm making a circle kind of like I did for the cheeks but just a little bit smaller and this is on the opposite side of my forehead kind of at the side a little bit then I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm putting on four dots for this is a button and I think it's really cute and I really like the idea of having a button because buttons are just adorable and then I'm just lining the outside of it with a gel liner and I found this bit really tricky and it took a lot of practice. Lastly I'm taking this glitter cream and I'm just dabbing this onto the apples of my cheeks which just adds a little bit of sparkle and like extra cuteness. And then like lastly lastly I'm just curling my lashes and applying mascara because that's just the last thing you have to do to complete this whole makeup look. So now moving on to hair, you want to take your hair out of the ponytail and you just want to section it out and brush it however you usually brush your hair to get any of the knots out. This step you could wear a wig if you wanted to, like a blonde wig or like a strawberry blonde wig like my hair colour, but my hair colour is pretty much the exact same colour as straw so I found it just suited it really well and it was a lot easier than getting a wig. And so I'm just parting my hair down the middle and sectioning off each side into three parts and I'm just braiding my hair all the way down to the very ends and I'm doing this on both sides to create two pigtails. Now I'm just pulling out lightly bits of my hair to make it look a little bit more rustic and farm-like. You can then use a typical straw hat but I decided to use a flower crown because I thought it looked a lot cuter for this is a cute look and I just really liked the look of it to be honest. For the costume I'm just wearing this denim play suit I got from Super 8 and I just did one arm undone and I'm just wearing this tartan farm shirt I got from an op shop. 